Hey, welcome back to GB Guns. We've got here a pair of Makarovs, a Polish P64 and your more traditional Makarov. Um, got them because they're affordable, they're neat pieces of history, and they're fun to shoot with the uh, 9 by 18 millimeter round that fits right between 380 and common 9 millimeter, 9 by 19. Now, uh, they're both surplus guns, obviously, and uh, a few decades old. And that means that sometimes that there's some changes that can be made to them. On our P64, which you can see is clear, the recoil spring seemed like it might be a bit worn out. And our big indicator on that was that it was uh, kind of a bear to shoot. And 9x18 is not a powerful round. So we got a spring from Wolf Springs and swapped out that spring and want to see how it shoots now. On our classic conventional Makarov here, uh, we have this grip from Fab Defense, which extends the beaver tail, protects you from the hammer and the slide, and check this out, gives you a more modern magazine release up here versus having to do the heel grip. So, did these both of these upgrades quite some time ago, but haven't been to the range yet to try it out. So let's get out there and see how these do. out at the range today with the uh, Makara P64. Now, this is not a fun gun to shoot. I don't like it. Um, and so we've replaced the recoil spring. We're gonna see if it's still obnoxious and uncomfortable to shoot. Um, so I'm not gonna say that I'm looking forward to this, but we'll see how it goes, okay? <laughs> It's still very snappy and this frame delivers all, it's almost like you're feeling the vibration of the target, um, but all that energy gets delivered back through this frame. So it's better, it's definitely better, but still not something that you're gonna take to the range and shoot all day. This is something that you take out and you say, hey friend, you wanna shoot this? Um, and it's an experience, but um, this brings right, So more. when I first got this guy, I was of course attracted to the styling it's very Walther PPK-esque, and the fixed barrel and everything quickly came to loathe shooting it uh, because, quite frankly, it hurt. Even though it's just 9 by 18 um, the web of my hand would get up in there, and I'd end up with racing stripes. I'm going to consciously try to keep my hand lower and see if this fresh spring in here has made it any more pleasant for my hands to shoot. Definitely still bites, definitely very snappy, um, not quite as violent, and I only got one racing stripe. Large handed shooters beware. Okay, so in uh, keeping with seeing what we can do to change the Makarov and uh, make it easier to use, we've got this grip here by Fab Defense that adds a traditional mag release here. So. We're going to see A, if the grip helps us holding the gun and is more comfortable, B, how does that uh, traditional mag release work so that we're not having to dig down here when we need to get that mag out and reload.
check that out. How'd it feel? It's actually much more comfortable. Uh, this one I could actually shoot and work on stuff at the range uh, versus a P64. This one is um, pretty moderate. All right, now we'll see how the Fab Defense grip on a standard Makarov works with slightly fatter hands. So as we saw there, the mag release does indeed function. It's a, a bit of a reach upward for me, but uh, still better than doing the heel. The heel is a bit stiff on this particular gun. It may not be on all of them, uh, but certainly a worthy upgrade. All right, so back from the range, and what are the thoughts? Well, um, for one, this grip from Fab Defense certainly makes shooting uh, this Makarov plenty pleasant. You get all the reliability of that blowback design fixed barrel and uh, the ease of the modern magazine release so this was well worth it and uh, makes this gun all the more fun though you do lose some of the classic Soviet styling the P64 certainly got better with the spring in there and if you have noticed these grips these are from Marshalko grips in Hungary they are made to order and unfortunately arrived just a little bit too late but uh, quite beautiful. The fit seems pretty good on them. Uh, you choose the wood, you choose the styling and coloring and all that kind of stuff. I just didn't have them in before we went out to the range. So, um, love the styling of the P64. Definitely a gun that I think is a fun one to have if you're into that Soviet and uh, Eastern European Cold War history. The Wolf Spring and the Recoil Spring did make it better to shoot. Still, it's a bit snappy. I'm curious to see if uh, the wood grips filling the hand a little better and feeling a little warmer, maybe absorbing some impact a little bit, at least better than the hard plastic, changes uh, the shooting characteristics at all. But uh, overall, both good options for enjoying some history, uh, some classic guns, and making them somewhat more modern. I know there are folks out there who carry these guns. Um, I don't in particular, the, the selection for 9x18 defensive rounds is somewhat limited, but um, I've heard there are people who do, and they are certainly affordable guns. If you do carry and you use something other than Hornady, let me know what you use, uh, because we really haven't seen that many rounds. I admit to not having looked super deep, but uh, when I did, I was kind of well disappointed in the limited selection. 9x18 Makarov is right between... 380, which is 9x17, and 9mm Luger, which is 9x19. So, uh, and in our test, 9x18, just about as effective as 9mm, not necessarily uh, around to shy away from. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching.